you know, when I stepped foot on my first day in this company, uh, it's very much a commodities company. Uh, we supply sugar, we, we bring in raw sugar, we, uh, we refine, and then we sell it to the F&B industry players, and then we try to sell it in the retail side. Um, but that's not enough, because uh, if you remain a commodity player, you're always going to be part of the chain, but not being able to make a difference enough. Uh, also, uh, as a commodity player, uh, margins, your margins are always squeezed. You're always in the whole ecosystem. Uh, as a commodity player, you're always going to be the one at the short end of the stick. You're, you're always going to be the one with the thinnest margin. So we said, look, uh, we have to move this company into an FMCG like company and my background is an FMCG uh, background and that's, uh, that's why I've been invited to come here uh, to make that change. Uh, so we said, okay, we move into an FMCG company. Now what is it? Uh, FMCG company is a big word. Uh, so it's about now looking at our product. Uh, okay, what do we have? What are the product that will meet consumers' aspirations? the current consumers want, what's the trend? Having a product that meets the trend. Uh, and afterwards then, having a good product is not enough. You need to package it in a possible way that the consumers want to have a look at it. You know, it stands out. Uh, because today, good product only is also not enough. You need for it to stand out, you need the design. Now, then when you have a good product and a good packaging, still not enough. You need to be able to communicate. You need to be able to build your brand. And afterwards, then you need to have a good, wide and deep distribution. Now, so moving it to an FMCG company. So, so that's what we, what we set ourselves about to do. Uh, and then I said earlier about the mindset and about the pace. So you have now the infrastructure. You have now the methodology, but it needs to be accompanied by the mindset and the pace. So this combined uh, and will then move us into a more FMCG-like or an FMCG company. And afterwards then, once we have uh, more or less uh, embarked on that journey, then we need to know, okay, how else, what else we can do? So it could be that we look into downstream, you know, uh, do we produce different products or do we acquire uh, downstream companies you know so so at the end of the day it's about that journey we have a five-year horizon uh, as I said just now it's a journey uh, you know it's uh, it's not going to be achieved overnight it's not going to be achieved in one or two years uh, and coming back again as I said the mindset and the pace first needs to be sorted and then you need to look at your products and the whole internal organization needs to be ready and then you start venturing okay what's next what's next so for me i i when i sat down with the board and when i sat down with uh with with the advisors and i said look uh, it's going to be a five-year journey uh and it's going to be an interesting one so so and the 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 guys the folks uh, that's that's in this company to their credit they're they're really responding yeah, so um, I think first of all, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the aspiration is to produce goods that the consumers want. So that's number one now. And we want to move more and more further and further apart uh, from the commodity. We'll still, sugar will still be our core. Uh, you know, uh, it's where we started and it's where, where we are. And we are contributing towards uh, the national food security. Uh, it's not only about business. Uh, our responsibility uh, in this country is to ensure that there's enough supply at a stable price uh, because with sugar is a strategic commodity uh, we have seen how uh, when there's a shortage of sugar the economy can come to a grinding halt because Malaysia is by and large at a, a, an FMB manufacturing place you know we've got lots of other industries but uh, a lot of industries are FNB and, it's dip and sugar is a critical, uh, critical ingredient. So we recognize that we are a sugar provider uh, to the nation and we contribute to the uh, food security. So that remains core. 
and we are here to ensure a stable supply and a stable price. All right, so that's number one. Number two, uh, whilst we do that, when we are a sugar commodity base, uh, the margin is razor thin. You've seen how our competitor uh, has been struggling, yes. all right, even losing money. Uh, now, for us, we're fortunate because uh, through the low raw sugar price, to prudent raw sugar buying, through really tight uh, manufacturing cost control, and through really a good mindset of our people, we achieve, I would say, profit. But it's thin because we are commodity. Now, as we move along uh, towards the FMCG journey, it's about scouring what will be the product that meets the consumer need besides this. So things like we've been producing things like brown sugar, you know, and we're the first uh, company in the region to have introduced a, a new product called low GI sugar. A normal sugar is about 65 to 75 GI. Low sugar, low GI sugar is about 55. We're the first company in the region that introduced it. We're still the only company in Malaysia uh, that, that is uh, supplying or that's refining and manufacturing this kind of sugar. So that's innovative. And, uh, and, uh, and we have a two-year kind of uh, NPD, new product development uh, horizon. We're going to introduce better and better sugar. So it's about moving uh, the consumers away from consuming only white sugar, which is obviously not as good. Uh, moving them into a brown sugar, which we feel is much better for everyone. Uh, and then afterwards, we talk about product extension. What are the products? We move downstream. If we can move downstream, we can acquire companies that use sugar as a key ingredient, but it's an FMCG kind of company. So how do we move there? Yeah. As, a, as a refiner, one of our duty is to contribute to the food security. And that means holding stocks of between two to three months within ourselves. And that amounts to about 180 to 200 million, two to three month stocks, and at a cost of between eight to 20 million a year to us, right? So that's the cost. Now, obviously, so when there's a price ceiling, obviously when the sugar price is high, then it's up to us to absorb the difference. When the world sugar price is high, this was not mentioned before, but this needs to be looked into. In the last two years, our competitor has been losing money, absorbing that, one of the main reasons. We are operating on that kind of environment, right? So, so we, have, we have excess capacity, we have the, the, the need or the duty to uh, provide for food security, and that's cost money, and that costs money. Now, the cost of doing business is rising. Whatever we say, we have low wages, uh, we have a minimum income wages. Okay, that's not an issue because we're rewarding our people. Price of gas is coming up, has been coming up ever since. Electricity bill, you know, cost of logistics, everything has gone up. SST has added to our burden because unlike GST, we, could, we can't claim SST. So that all adds up to the cost of doing business. So, so first of all, the challenges is, uh, again, uh, again, our first, our currency, right? Uh, so at the macro level, right? So our currency, uh, you know, and we're not... Can't, we, can't, we can't hedge for a long period. So we are exposed in that front. Uh, so that's number one. Uh, and obviously, like uh, all the other businesses, uh, the, the cost of doing business, the gas cost and all that. So, so that's number two. Now, the other thing that specifically our industry is facing is, um, is the smuggling, right? Uh, it's quite rampant smuggling going on, especially in the, north, uh, in the north. Now, we don't have exact numbers, but we keep on seeing uh, smuggled sugar appearing here and there because we have our eyes and ears on the ground. Uh, so that's smuggling. And then now recently the, the case of the APs coming in, uh, that's another challenge. So, so balancing all this, uh, it's not an easy task.